Okay, so in this Final Cut Pro tutorial, we're gonna have a look at how we create this slide on text effect where we're revealing the text in the middle of our video and it looks like it's sliding out from behind this line. So there's a lot of plugins that will allow you to create this effect um, and you can certainly create your own motion template for doing this as well. But often I like to do as much as I can in Final Cut Pro 10. It means you can avoid any external program. So let's go ahead and create this effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm gonna first of all jump across to my, so I'm first of all gonna jump across to my type tool across here on the right hand side and we're looking for the basic text. So type in basic in the search and then I'm just gonna grab this basic title and drop it on as a connected clip above this image that I have here. And for this text, I'm gonna type it in as slide right. I'm gonna change a couple of settings here. So I'm gonna have this aligned to the left I'm going to increase the, the font size a little bit and I'm gonna change the face of this to light. So once I've done that, I wanna turn this into a compound clip. So I'm gonna to go to File, New and Compound Clip. And with the compound clip selected, I'm just gonna label this as slide right. We can duplicate these compound clips later. So if we replicate the text that we have there, then we can use this in a number of different scenarios and without having to recreate this layer every time. And you can move compound clips between projects as well. So once you've created this once, you can reuse it in multiple projects. I'm gonna click okay here. And then I'm gonna jump into this compound clip either by double clicking on the compound clip here or by double clicking on the compound clip in the timeline. Now, the first thing I wanna do here is to raise this up from the main storyline. So I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option, Command and tap my upward cursor arrow. And that's gonna lift my clip from the main timeline. And then I'm gonna hold down Shift and tap Z, just so that I can see the entire duration of the timeline that I'm working with here in this compound clip. Um, and you can see I've got a 10 second long clip here. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this type from the center of my project across to the left-hand side here. And now as soon as that text is on the side, I'm gonna add the transitions to it. So I'm gonna come across here and turn on my transitions. And we're looking for the movement transitions. We've got a few different movements that we could uh, play with here with this effect, but we're gonna, first of all, just go for the basic slide transition. So if I drag this on to my clip on the timeline, it's gonna add a slide at the beginning and at the end of my clip. I'm gonna delete the slide transition at the end, okay? And I'm gonna extend the duration of this slide transition at the beginning to somewhere around two seconds. So we get a nice long slide on, okay? So you can see now we're getting a slide on. So we're pretty close to what we want already. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna go back to our main timeline and just have a look at what we have. So I'm just gonna hold down Shift and tap Z to zoom to the timeline here. So now what you can see is the text is sliding on from the left-hand side here and on the left. So I'm gonna move this now. So I'm gonna select my clip on the timeline to move it. And then I'm gonna come up to the transform options up here. So what we're transforming by is half of 1920. We wanna to come to the middle of our project edit here. So in the X axis here, I'm gonna type in 960 and that's gonna move that right across the right hand side. Now, as you can see here, we're still not cropping that slide as it slides to the right here, okay? So in order to do that, we're just gonna add a one pixel crop on the left hand side of this layer. So I'm gonna come down to my crop options here in the inspector. And if you don't see the inspector for either of the last couple of sections I've done, then just go to window and show inspector or command and four. And then I'm gonna add a one pixel crop on the left-hand side. So I've just typed in one pixel on the left-hand side here. And now what you can see is when I play this through, we're sliding in from the middle there. Now I'm gonna go back into my compound clip and I'm gonna to come to my generators here. And in the generators, I'm gonna add on this white generator. I'm gonna drag it on and drop it right in the middle of these two clips. So the slug in the background and the text here. And I'm gonna crop this as well. So I'm gonna select my white, go to video, and we're working with a 1920 pixel wide project here. So I'm gonna crop from the right this time by 1917 pixels, okay? And we'll get this nice thin line. So I've just left three pixels on the left-hand side there. We've cropped one pixel in the main timeline. So eventually we'll have a two pixel strip down there and we can tweak this um, if we 
see that it's not quite working a little bit later on. And then I'm gonna crop a little bit from the, the bottom so it matches up with the type here. So I crop around 400 pixels from the bottom and then 400 pixels from the top and maybe a little less from the top, just so it's lined up a little nicer. And now we've got everything set up back up here. If we go back to our clip, we have our line in the middle. And if we come down here, press play, we're gonna slide in beautifully from that line in the middle of our clip. So that's how to create the slide on to the right. Um, obviously you'd reverse all your values um, if you're sliding on from the left. So go ahead, have a go at setting up and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.